I want to share with you about a game I've been playing. June's Journey is a murder mystery puzzle and adventure game. Engulf yourself in June Parker, the protagonist's captivating quest to unveil a scandalous hidden family secret. The premise of the game starts when June returns home to find that her sister and her sister's husband die under suspicious circumstances. June must uncover the murderer. The game setting is in the world of the 1920 Victorian era. The vintage vibe of the game presents colors that are striking and rich. The graphics are carefully sculpted with scenes of Victorian designs, structures, and decorations. Best of all, June's Journey is free to download. Playing the hidden object scenes is critical to June's journey. Every scene is a picture with lots of different vintage things for you to search and find. Once these items are found, they reveal more clues and parts of the story. I grew up reading all of those mystery Nancy Drew novels. And of course, you know from watching my channel that I absolutely love thrifting thrift shopping, vintage costumes, all of the decor that you can find in the 1920s era, all of which this game encompasses. As a home DIY renovator, one of the things that is my favorite parts of this game is Orchid Island, where you actually get to restore, redecorate, and rebuild and the home that June Parker grew up in. The plot is fascinating, but it keeps you on your toes and it's incredibly user-friendly. It is a great game for cognition as well as relaxation. I find when I'm playing the game that I'm getting swept away in the 1920s era on this grand journey where I can kind of imagine myself in the 1920s clothing and vintage hairstyles and it always leaves me wanting to go thrift shopping at the end. I love that I can pick it up and put it down. That is of course if you can put it down. Download June's Journey for free down in the description box. June's Journey is available on Android and iOS devices as well as PC through Facebook games. Thank you so much to June's Journey for sponsoring this video. And after June's Journey inspiration I feel like going thrifting. Okay, mom just found this awesome base. It's $6.99. It's really nice, like heavy. What kind of material do you think it is? It's a pro pottery. Like a pottery, yeah. And it's so nice and it has sort of like this ombre effect on it. So we're gonna take that today. One of my favorite places to look in the thrift store is this basket section. There's so many things you can do with baskets. Like I really like this little one right here. <laughs> and there's always some ones with like really neat wood handles down here. My other favorite spot to look in a thrift store is the area where they have all this miscellaneous wood stuff in the home section. I always have so many DIY ideas when I actually come here, like mom likes to find these wood bowls and sort of make a little trinket holders and stuff with those, or jewelry and stuff, lots of different projects you can do. So we're gonna take a look and see if there's any treasures here. So another spot that I really like to look at when I'm at the thrift store is these vintage tablecloths. Usually you can find some ones with really cute patterns that you can turn into pillows or even use the fabric for upholstery. So I'm gonna take a look and see. I did see something here that was blue and yellow that kind of caught my eye. So I'm gonna take a look. Just make sure there's no stains or any holes and then just see if any of them inspire me to create something else. One of mom's favorite treasures from our thrifting was this antique military blanket. She picked it up for only $15. I'm excited because I got to hit four thrift stores. I was looking for a couple things for DIYs as well as some decor to put into the dining room space. So I'm gonna show you some of the things that I picked up in my haul. So one of the things I was looking for was a vase and I lucked out and found this gorgeous white vase. It was under $5 and I thought it would be perfect to put my greenery in and change it for all the seasons on my mantle in the dining room. And I also was looking for candle holders and I happened to find a bunch of different brass colored ones, which is what I was looking for. So I found some short ones and some taller ones because you always want to stagger when you're staging. And this one was my favorite one that I picked up. I loved the patina that was on it and that I'd be able to put a more chunky candle into it on the mantle. So that was all that I picked up that was actually gonna go into the dining room. And then I found some other items that would be great for DIY. Some are a little bit out of the box. I found this tray and it was only 10 cents. 
and it was in the kitchen section. I'm sure it's a little old pie tray or something. It's a little bit beat up, but I saw a sunflower middle. So I actually think I'm gonna turn this into a wreath of some kind because the texture and the ribbing on the outside screamed fall sunflower to me. So that was something that I was kind of just found by mistake. And if you saw last year in the fall, I made a fall wreath video and it was some of the first wreaths that I found and I didn't bring any of my leftover wreaths back from Ontario and so I picked this up for only 49 cents. And they're pretty expensive when you buy them in the regular craft store, so that was a good find. I was also looking for some fabric, whether it be bed sheets, duvet covers, tablecloths, remnants of fabric, or even scarves. So I look in all those areas looking for fabric in the thrift store and I lucked out and found some amazing flannel colored scarves that I could now turn into some fall pillows that I can put on the couch. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors. And then I found this blue colored one that is so soft. It's dreamy soft and it has tassels on the end as well. And then I picked this one up. I wasn't sure if I was going to use it for that same type of project, but I couldn't resist. I thought maybe even some little fall hand warmers for the boys pockets would be cute with that one. And then I lucked out and found something that I just so happened to see on a blog that was really pricey. And that is one of these vintage gold frames. So I've been seeing these for upwards of a hundred plus dollars online, especially on places like Etsy or vintage marketplaces. I paid $1. Can you believe it? $1. And so whether I leave this original or I paint it up, it was well worth $1. We've been wanting to do a lot of our own homesteading here at the house and we've been practicing doing our own bread making. So we picked up a bread maker. And so since we've been here in Nova Scotia, we realized that a bread box is something that we were really missing that we had in Ontario. And I was able to pick up a bread box for only $3. The door needs a little bit of work because the hinge is off on the bottom although it is intact and I thought it was really nice because it was metal and I love the handle on it so I know that when I give this the love that it needs it's going to be really cute extra love extra love <laughs> So another thing that I was looking for was something that was sort of like a Halloween fall statue that I could do a revamp on and I didn't want it to be too spooky but I thought it would be really cute accessories so I found this adorable little red owl which I plan on painting and doing a DIY with. Now the wall that has all of the little baggies of stuff if you take the time to really look through them you can find some really good treasures and I found a whole set of these little tiny frames and it says here I paid five dollars for the whole bag and then I also found these sort of like country cottage core coasters they were a little bit boho and i thought they were so cute and they came with a little stand everything was intact and then one of my favorite things that i found was these owls here and they actually have a hanger on the back that you can hang them on the wall and i love how they range from smallest to largest i thought they were so cute and of course they were gold so they attracted me right away i also found a few smaller items that would be great for diy projects like some of these letterboard letters in a baggie and some really simple plain christmas ornaments and then i found a little bit more of a pile here of some small frames i didn't luck out too good in the wood section this time but i did find this cute recipe box that I have an idea for fall with and I found this great wood rolling pin. Let me know what your favorite treasure that I picked up at the thrift store was. What's your favorite thing to find at your secondhand shop?